In this video, we will be taking a look at the brand new flagship home theater receiver from Marantz, the Cinema 30. Let's get started. The Marantz Cinema 30 is their revolutionary new flagship receiver, focusing on compatibility and customizability. Built at the famed production facility in Shirakawa, Japan, the all-metal front panel keeps things elegant and simple looking with just an input selector, a volume knob, and a small display showing your volume level, source selected, sleep timer status, zone status, and radio tuning frequency. The lower part of the front panel has hinges that open the panel, showing all the front panel controls and a larger display for much more detailed information. And also a headphone jack and a power button flank the sides of the front panel, which have a cool textured look that Marantz uses in their new product line. Like the other models in the Cinema series, we found the user-selectable lighting built into the front panel gives the Cinema 30 added style while not being too distracting. We think that this look gives the new product some character and allows for an upscale, clean appearance not seen in many home theater components. Now the casework and back panel are built well and very well laid out, giving a quality feel throughout. Compared to the Cinema 40, its chassis is also now deeper at 17.6 inches compared to the 15.8 inches. In addition, the Cinema 30 weighs in at 42.8 pounds compared to the Cinema 40's 32.3 pounds. And like other models, Marantz offers the Cinema 30 in two color options, black and silver gold. In past AV receiver products, multi-channel power was one area where people were sometimes let down. Companies would specify their power ratings to look better than they actually are. They would do this by testing using only one channel, or rating the power at excessive distortion, or using a 1 kHz test signal that doesn't show true full range power output, which all make their ratings look awesome on paper. Marantz knew that they wanted to stand out in this regard as they rate the Cinema 30 at 140 watts with two channels driven at 0.05% THD with a full range signal at 8 ohms and peak power at 250 watts at 6 ohms. One of the main elements of Marantz's promise of more accurate power ratings is its 70% guarantee. Now this guarantee ensures that the Cinema 30 will produce 70% of the rated two channel output power into five channels. This is the same guarantee that the Marantz SR8015 has, and in testing, that unit far exceeded the 70% guarantee at five channels driven, which is a testament to Marantz's humble and honest power ratings. The Cinema 30 will produce about 98 watts into eight ohms into five channels to satisfy that 70% guarantee, but we do expect it to perform slightly better than that, similar to the SR8015. Now with all of that said, what it means for you is that you can be sure that the Cinema 30 has plenty of power for all but the very largest home theater speaker systems. Now should you need more power in the future, there's a full complement of preamp outputs for all the 13.4 channels of processing power. These preamp outputs are powered by the HDMSA2 preamplifier stage that promises to deliver the warmth and musicality that Marantz is known for. Marantz can promise these power ratings due to the carefully chosen components in the amplifier section of the Cinema 30. Much like the SR8015 it replaces, the Cinema 30 uses an 835VA toroidal transformer and two 22,000 microfarad power supply capacitors. These feed the needed current to the 11 discrete HDAM class AB output stage modules in the Cinema 30. Another unique feature of the Cinema 30 is copper plating inside the chassis for better isolation and performance characteristics. And on top of all of that, all of these components are tuned by Marantz's sound masters in their factory in Japan for the best performance possible. Marantz promised full compatibility with their new flagship receiver and they have delivered. You'll find seven 8K HDMI 2.1 inputs, two independent 8K HDMI outputs, HDMI ARC and eARC support, and one 4K HDMI second zone output. In addition, 8K upscaling, HDR, HLG, Dolby Vision, HDR10+, and Dynamic HDR are all supported. Having this level of video input allows full compatibility with almost any video component or technology out there. Digital inputs include two coax, two toslink inputs, and USB. Analog inputs are also plenty, as there is a multitude of RCA inputs for CD players and other components, and even a component video input for legacy video sources, which even the AV10 doesn't have. Bluetooth is also fully supported, giving you the option to use your headphones for late night listening or watching movies, as well as voice control from Alexa, Google Assistant, and Siri. And finally, it has a phono input for moving magnet cartridge turntables. 
The Marantz Cinema 30 has technology built into it that is usually only found in high-end separate processors. With its full array of 32-bit ESS Sabre DAC chips with built-in jitter reduction, these DAC chips feed the latest and most powerful analog devices SHARC Dual DSP chipset. This complement of processors brings the Cinema 30 much closer to the performance of Marantz's flagship AV10 separate reference processor. Now, this level of processing allows the Cinema 30 to process all formats used in digital movies and music today and do so with accuracy and sound quality generally reserved for outboard decks. Supported formats include DTS HD Master, DTS X, DTS X Pro, DTS Neural X, DTS Virtual X, and as well as Dolby True HD, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Atmos Height Virtualization, Dolby Atmos Music, and Dolby Surround. With the onboard processing and HDM SA2 preamplifier stage, you can fully customize how many speakers you will use in your system. Now you can use the 11 power channels for an 11 channel speaker system, or if you want even more options, use the built-in 13.4 outputs and add a two channel amplifier for the remaining two channels. Also, if you have a five or seven channel speaker system, you can assign two other channels to biamp your main speakers if you wish. And for music lovers, the Cinema 30 has you covered as well. The Sabre DACs have full support for FLAC and Wave lossless formats up to 24192 kHz and DSD 2.8 or 5.6 MHz, all with gapless capability, which is important for many users. Marantz also includes its MDAX2 processing algorithm that will make your compressed MP3 files sound fuller and more like uncompressed audio. For music streamers, the Marantz Cinema 30 has you covered with full support for Heos Multi-Room and streaming, AirPlay, Spotify Connect, Pandora, Sirius XM Radio, and is room tested. You can stream from Amazon Music directly from the app or title from the Heos app as well. For those of you with an SR8015 wondering if you should upgrade to the Cinema 30, we will give you the information and allow you to choose. While the amplifier sections are quite similar and put out the same power, the processing power has been upgraded. Top of class 32-bit ESS Sabre DACs are used in the Cinema 30 over the SR8015's older chips. These upgraded DACs promise more detail and realism from your music and movies while also supporting more formats. Also, the Cinema 30 has four independent subwoofer outputs that are completely independently controlled, allowing much more flexibility in tuning and setting up multiple subwoofers for the best performance. This is compared to the SR8015's one subwoofer output. Now this is a massive upgrade as most of today's home theaters run multiple subwoofers and fine tuning them individually can greatly improve the overall bass in your room. In addition, while Odyssey multi Q room correction is included with the Cinema 30 and SR8015, Marantz took the Cinema 30 to the next level with full Dirac Live support. While adding Dirac Live is an additional cost, the performance gains with Dirac Live are hard to ignore over the Odyssey. From the more powerful speaker tuning capability to the Dirac Live bass control, having this ability will take the Cinema 30's performance to the next level. Having the ability to add Dirac Live room correction and bass control right away or in the future to the Cinema 30 gives it a huge advantage over the SR8015. Aesthetically, the Cinema 30 also has been upgraded with higher quality exterior panels with much nicer textures for an upscale look. Now, for those of you looking at both the Cinema 40 and the new flagship Cinema 30 and wondering what the difference is, it will come down to the number of channels offered. While the Cinema 40 provides nine powered channels and 11.4 total preamp channels, including four subwoofer outputs, the Cinema 30 has 11 powered channels and 13.4 total preamp channels. So the growth potential is much higher in the Cinema 30. Also, the Cinema 40 puts out about 15 less watts of power into two channels, and also in addition, the Cinema 30 uses a toroidal transformer, where the Cinema 40 uses an EI core transformer. The toroidal transformer radiates less noise, allowing the Cinema 30 to have much more detail and higher resolution sound. Now, there's also copper cladding in the chassis of the Cinema 30 that the Cinema 40 does not have, which will also improve the performance. The 32-bit ESS Sabre DAC chips in the Cinema 30 are also slightly higher performance than the chips in the Cinema 40. Now, this will no doubt lower the digital to analog performance of the Cinema 40, and while the Cinema 40 is a leader in its price class, the Cinema 30 is the receiver flagship for a reason. If you are the type of person who cares about the last bit of detail and sound quality in their AVR, then the Cinema 30 would be a worthy upgrade over the Cinema 40. Both of these include Odyssey Multi-Q XT32 room correction and support to add Dirac Live room correction and bass control. 
Now, we were excited when we received the Cinema 30 as it represents a true flagship receiver from Marantz. We used the same BMW 703 S3 tower speaker system that we loved with the Cinema 40, along with the BMW center and surround speakers. We followed the same on-screen menus and setup procedures, including running Odyssey, to get the speakers and subwoofers tuned in. While we enjoyed this setup and it performed well, we then added Dirac Live room correction and bass control to see how much more we could fine-tune this system. After firing it up and running Dirac's powerful suite of tools, the performance gains were really impressive. At Audio Advice, we are huge fans of room correction, and Dirac is one of the very best that there is. While it isn't needed to get a really good performance from any of the Cinema Series receivers, it's a great option for those who may want to upgrade to it in the future or are looking to squeeze out every drop of performance from their gear. Next, it's important to understand exactly how to use Dirac to make sure you are getting the most out of the software. Even if you've never used Dirac before, don't worry, we've got you covered. When you purchase from Audio Advice, we will send you our in-depth guide on how to set up and use Dirac Live, along with a custom Audio Advice room curve that our experts have created to ensure your receiver sounds the very best that it can in your room. Our guide will walk you through the entire setup process step by step and give you some pro tips to make sure you've got it all set up correctly. After all the setup was done with the Cinema 30, we jumped right into some movies. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, The Caves is a great movie scene to test AV receivers as it has a lot of good action and the underwater scene is also full of fantastic movie sound effects. The Cinema 30 has no problem driving the BMW speakers to room filling levels and had plenty of amplifier power to spare. We were impressed with the added level of detail and finesse that the better DAC chips and processors allowed us to hear on this track. Next, we fired up our 4K Blu-ray of Mad Max Fury Road to test how the Cinema 30 did with hard-hitting dynamic scenes. This movie showed us what Dirac Live could really do in our system. The speakers were perfectly tuned to the room. The sound was spacious while being dynamic and full of realism. The Cinema 30 had plenty of power for the dynamic scenes while keeping its composure and still giving us that sound that Morantz is known for. And if we had to nitpick anything, we would say that the warm and musical sound that is so inviting with Morantz products can sometimes make dynamic movie scenes sound slightly subdued. However, this was a really minor criticism as it only became noticeable on the most dynamic tracks. Having the four individual subwoofer outputs tuned with the Dirac Live bass control gave us clean, dynamic bass that reached low and had a level of frequency balance that used to only come very high-end processors. We were amazed at how close the Cinema 30 actually came to reaching the performance of Marantz's own AV10 and Amp10 separate reference preamp processor and power amplifier. Now with two channel music, the Cinema 30 had the same great warmth and musicality that is the hallmark of Marantz's products. With the addition of the 32-bit ESS Sabre DAX and Dirac Live's room and speaker tuning ability, realism and detail took a step up, allowing us to hear all of the music's nuances. Imaging and sound staging, while not on the level of purpose-built high-end two-channel components, was also really good for an AV receiver. All right, so we really enjoyed our time with this Moran Cinema 30 and think that it's a top contender in its price class. With its newly upgraded DAX, large amplifier section, and the addition of Dirac Live with Dirac Live bass control, the Cinema 30 gives users all that they need for a successful home theater experience. Add to that the full suite of input and outputs, it allows anyone with any piece of gear to find use in the Cinema 30. Now, if you are in the market for a flagship receiver in this price class, we highly recommend you take a further look at the Moran Cinema 30. If you have further questions, contact our experts via chat, phone, or email, or simply visit one of our world-class showrooms to experience speakers, projectors, TVs, and everything in between for yourself before you make a purchase. And if you are planning your home theater or media room, check out our home theater design page where we have everything home theater related, including our free home theater design tool. And when you buy from Audio Advice, you're buying from a trusted seller since 1978. We offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and our price guarantee. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.